Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. The Yeso Wike or Pro Yeso Wike lawmakers in River State, they are in panic because the court has given permission for the video of their defection from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress to be played in court as evidence that they have defected to the APC and that they are no longer members of the PDP and that it is appropriate for their seats to be declared vacant for a by-election to take place in their various constituencies. That's what we are going to talk about in this video, the implication of this development to the River State crisis. Welcome. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. Now, the latest information emanating from the River State crisis in the epic battle between the River State's incumbent governor, Semo Fubara, and his estranged godfather, the former governor of River State and now minister of the Federal Capital Treasurer Abuja, Yes, we can. The battle for the soul of River State has entered a new dimension. This is because uh, the counsel to the River State House of Assembly that are lawyer to Governor Simi Fubara, uh, Clifford Chuku, has uh, revealed that the court has made a very breakthrough uh, permission for the uh, Proyeso Wike lawmakers. This that permission was that uh, they, are, they, are, they are going to play the video evidence of the lawmakers that are loyal to Yeso Wike, the video evidence of their defection from the PDP to the APC in the open court. This is a big win, and uh, it is that's why he's uh, making this public. So it's a, a significant move, and he has highlighted uh, the significance of their case against the Proyeso Wike 27 lawmakers that defected from the APC from the PDP to the APC when. PDP was not having any crisis. You know that in, in respect to Section 1091G of the 1999 Constitution, when you defect, when an elected lawmaker defects from the party that sponsored him to, the, to power to another party, when that party in question was not having any crisis, it means that that seat will be declared vacant. There are several Supreme Court rulings on that. So that's the court allowing that uh, video to be played is a significant development. Now, um, the, the lawyer of uh, Pro, Pro Fubara, that's the one there, the, the authentic lawmakers of River State, I've been done for, why did I call them authentic? That was, the, the authentic lawmakers of River State were the ones that Simi Fubara submitted the 2024 budget to. And you know they have told him that he must submit, resubmit that budget to the Proyeso Mike, and he has refused to do so because he believed that he is standing on the side of the law too. And there are many legal minds who believe that Simi Fubara is right that he he cannot 
represent that budget to the prayers of the lawmakers. So this this their lawyer Clifford Chuku uh, said that they have they have in possession video evidence of the 24 lawmakers defection, which the court has permitted them to present. That's a big win, as far as I can see it. The court say, okay, you present your evidence that these people are defected, and uh, it's a solid evidence. I have seen those. I've seen the videos myself. I don't think there's any different video that I'm going to present except all these videos that are already in public domain. Okay, because why did they appear on TV to announce their defection? They call all the media houses, uh, Arise TV, uh, Channel Television, TVC, and all whatnot. They were all there. This is because they want the world to know that they have defected. So they cannot now claim that they didn't tell the world that they have defected. There is a video evidence, and now the court is given the permission for it to be presented. That's a big win, as far as I can see it. And that's why, right now, they must be in panic about what is about uh, to be for them, the prayers of the lawmakers. They will be floating in the air, like the Edo lawmakers floated in the air. Their tenure will pass. Or at best, or at worst, the, the courts will order for a new election, a by-election, which is what should be done. Any time that Section 101G of the 1999 Constitution is violated, by-elections are held to fill the vacancy. By election doesn't mean that they cannot participate. They can participate, but they will not, they will not participate as candidate of the APC and not candidate of the PDP. They will, they will now contest under the banner or the platform of their new party, which is okay. Nobody is saying that they cannot, they will not participate in, the, in a by election. They will participate if APC nominate them. Now, uh, Barrister, Clifford Chuku expressed confidence that uh, on the day of the ruling, this footage will be shown allowing the public to witness the, the evidence as they unfolded or the events as they unfolded. How, how do we get here? How do we get to the situation where River State now have two set of lawmakers claiming to be the one in charge? That will show clearly to the world how this thing unfolded. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good development. He emphasized that their main objective is straightforward and that the 27 lawmakers having defected should vacate their seats to allow the Independent National Electoral Commission to conduct a by-election in which all parties, in which all parties can participate. He said that the evidence of their defection was captured by Chinese television and TVC. Of course, I know that several, uh, uh, if you check online, several uh, TV channels captured it, okay? Uh, but I think the, the, the evidence they presented to the court were two, two videos. That's why he identified uh, uh, channels, television, and TVC as to what, what are the videos that they are going to present in the court. And that is not only the evidence they have against these people, because their evidence against these 27 lawmakers is solid. Number one is this video. Then number two is at the Federal High Court in Abuja. This is because, you know, in their, in their joy, to have defected to APC, they rushed to the court in Abuja, where they swore an affidavit, they deposited an affidavit. So that's what uh, uh, Barrister Clifford Chuku is also making reference to. Okay, they, they, they presented, they deposited an affidavit that before the Federal High Court in Abuja, where they deposed 
to an affidavit reflecting the fact that they have defected from the PDP to the APC. So there's a court affidavit. They can't run away from that court affidavit. That is a damning evidence against them. Be, they feel it with their own hands that they have defected from the PDP to the APC. And there was also a response from the PDP that presented a count, uh, an affidavit too, admitting that they have actually defected. So PDP responded to their, uh, to their deposition that they have defected to APC. And PDP file is this on this in the same court that it is true these people have defected. Now it was that PDP filing in support of their defection that it was alleged that some people within the PDP national leadership allegedly went to sneak out to reject that PDPs are approved and they have defected, now claiming that they are still members of the PDP. But that was an afterthought. That was alleged manipulation. But what is important, as this uh, lawyer rightly pointed out, is that the people that defected with their, their two legs, they walked into the court and swore to affidavits, affidavit that they have defected from the PDP to the APC. That is the damning evidence. They can't escape. No wonder they are in panic about what is to before them. And when this thing gets to the Supreme Court, we know in this country now, I understand it. People have lost confidence in the courts. I know Professor Chidi Odenkalo has told us the judges has taken over the responsibility of the people choosing their leaders. Perhaps there may still be some good people left who will do the right thing by the time this matter gets to the Supreme Court and do the needful. Because this evidence, they are damning enough. They are totally evident proof that these people defected and these are a, a clear violation of Section 109G of the 1999 Constitution. Several legal minds have concluded that too. There is no escape route unless Nigeria has become a banana republic where justice only goes to the highest bidder. It means that they are, if, they, if, they, if they don't give justice to reverse people on this matter, then perhaps Professor Neo Sindara was right about his poem uh, titled my, my Lordship, Where Do I Put Your Bride? That is what, uh, what would make people, that, what, when people read, when the, if rivers cannot get justice without this damning evidence, what else are you going to tell the world? When this matter, I don't care what will happen in this court, high court, when it gets to the appeal court, get to the Supreme Court, if Rivers State does not get justice, if at the end of the day they say that Rivers people lost out at the Supreme Court, when it will get to Supreme Court, because I know that whatever is the outcome now, the matter will eventually end up at the Supreme Court where the final say will be heard. If with this damning evidence, they, 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 did not, they don't declare those people's seats vacant and INEC ordered to conduct by election. Then, Neo Sindra, that is poem, My Lordship, where do I put, keep your bride? Makes a lot of sense. And then, nobody can dispute Obasanjo from a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria when he said that some judges are indeed in the pockets of politicians. 
I don't know what you think about this. Whatever is your position on this latest development on the devastated crisis in respect to the position of the defected lawmakers who are loyal to yes weekend. Whatever is your position, let's hear from you at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.